hi guys and welcome back to my youtube channel so as you can actually see i am outside i was about to ask my cousin to take pictures of me i normally would take pictures myself but i don't have my tripod or i forgot an attachment for the tripod so i can't um so then i just thought of um that i should actually do a video on how to get people to take good pictures of you um i mean do you know the saying that says that what does it say again if you want something to be done right do it yourself that's the motto i live by but for times when you can't do it yourself um get somebody to do it right but under your own terms so i've actually found that a lot of people think that getting a good picture is purely about the person who's taking the picture and whether they can take good pictures but i promise you a lot of things are really under your control in terms of whether you get that perfect picture or not so in this video i'll be showing you how to do that if you're interested give it a watch give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe and watch the videos till the end um yeah so let's get this video started <laughs> Okay, so first things first, I eat your brain. <laughs> Jokes. Anyway, one of the first things that I think you need to, 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 to have um, when you're asking other people to take pictures of you is just be comfortable, you know. And being comfortable isn't only about the person taking your picture, but it's also about you being comfortable in yourself. So even being comfortable in what you look like and what you're wearing so you can exude that comfortability um, in the picture, right? It just makes it a lot more easier to take a picture of someone who's already comfortable. So that's the first thing. Number two, right? You need to actually know the kind of picture you want to take. <clears throat> when I say this, I mean, be it an outfit picture, be it like a close-up picture, whatever the case may be. You know all the things that you want to be in the frame. You know what you want someone to see when they actually now view your picture and now it's on Instagram and people are liking it. So, know what you want your picture to look like if you have no clue please use things like instagram pinterest we heart it to actually see the style of picture you want to take so it even helps you to know how to pose what props to use um how far away the person needs to be um how close they need to be and how like you should be in order to get the picture that you want just know what you want and then try and execute that if you have no clue and you expect the person who's taking the picture to do it all for you trust me you're not getting that amazing picture that you're after so once you are comfortable and you know the kind of picture you want to take you definitely need to take matters into your own hands and by taking matters into your own hands i mean frame the picture yourself so once you you know what kind of picture you want to take i should assume that you know the location that you want to take this picture at how you should be posing um and overall you have a visualization of this picture in your head right what you then need to do is take that camera take that phone from the person you want to take the picture for you and then actually take the picture like w when I say that I mean take a picture of the location and then tell the person that you will insert yourself here and you have essentially framed the picture okay so essentially when I talk about framing the picture I showed my cousin right now that I want me to be in the picture but this is what he should frame 
So nothing less, nothing more than this. This is how I want the picture to appear. So this is me framing the picture for him so that I get a good picture. Guys, you must also remember to clean your lens. That's also a very important part of this. And then wipe. Cool, cool. What I normally do is I even ask for a test shot. So what I'll do is I'll ask the person who's taking a picture of me to actually um, um, uh, to actually take a test shot for me. So what most of what I need is basically under my control. I'll take the phone from said person who's taking the picture. I will take a picture of the area or the location where I want the picture to be taken and say that I, well, I will stand here, right? I will stand in this position and then I'll pose there. What I need you to do, my cameraman, is make sure that this and this and this is in the frame and you don't cut it out, you know? But always frame the picture for the person. I know it may seem like you're belittling their ability or whatever, but like I said, you need to take control of the situation if you really want that amazing picture. And by taking control, it literally means take the damn phone, frame the picture for the person, give it back to them, and ask them to take a test shot for you. So, if you guys can see, this is the test shot my cousin took of me and I don't like it. I'm not even prepared for the picture. Um, as well as I feel like the picture's a bit skew. So that's something I can actually fix within editing, uh, the skewness of the picture. But now I just know how much further he has to move in or backwards so that the picture is framed exactly how I want it. So basically now it's just going to be a trial and error thing for us to like take the picture and then we'll come out with a good picture depending on if I like it. So that's how you do a test shot. And then from here onwards, you just have to be comfortable, pose, be versatile, and then you'll get the picture that you're looking for. And if the test shot is out of place, then you speak to your cameraman or whatever to make sure everything that you want to be in the frame is in frame. You tell them that you want a full body or only like the top half of your body or you actually only want details so your outfit and not your whole body and your face etc etc um which leads me into my next point is man you need to communicate you need to communicate with the person taking your picture and tell them exactly what you want exactly what you like exactly what you don't like um I'll make myself an example. I hate it when my cameraman cuts off my head, even if it's the slightest bit of head, because I know when I, I post a full body picture on Instagram, I want when you're not in the picture, like when you're just looking at the feed, for my face to show, like my full body to show. So I need some space ab above my head. I need some space above my head um, so that the picture isn't cropped when you look at it from a feed um, view. So that's also just one of the things, like I say that, no, I don't want you to crop out my feet, um, please, and I'll, I'll ask them, let me know if my shirt is untucked or looks untidy, let me know if my zipper is out, and as much as you think that that's something someone would know in general, you're asking, like, you're asking someone to take a picture of you, right, and you need to guide them, you need to direct them, you can't just expect that just because someone should know how to take a picture they're gonna do it well they're probably just worried that you're pretty and you're in the frame but they're not worried about the details so you worry about the details and let them know what would frustrate you about the picture that would make you feel like it's not a good picture so tell them that if you see that my shirt is not tucked in properly, tell them to let you know. Tell them that if your your necklace is muddled up, to tell you so that you fix it. So communicate with the person who's taking the picture. You got it? Please control Maibe Yako. And my last point is try a lot of the different things, guys. Um, like it, know your angles and know what you like so that you don't leave it up to the person taking your picture to do all the work you 
move around, uh, try different things, try sitting down, try standing up, try looking away, try playing with your hair. Um, something I've also found uh, that makes me more comfortable and just more versatile is having a prop. So I'll play around with the prop in order to just distract me from my own uncomfortability, um, to just ease things up on me. Um, or I'll use the prop in actual fact to help me pose, you know, and help me like get better angles and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, definitely just be versatile and be willing to just joke around a bit, whatever. So I've just found that props really help. I've found that playing music helps as well, even though sometimes I forget to play music, but it really, really helps me um, when somebody else is taking my pictures to just do something that's going to make me a little bit more comfortable. Um, and yeah, be versatile so you you just have a lot of options, you know, so you have a lot of options when you're like looking through your pictures and, and yeah, and these, the this, what I'm about to say, should be a no-brainer, but wipe your screen. Go. <sighs> Anyways, guys, that is the end of the video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it, and I hope now you know how to usher your cameraman to taking good pictures of yourselves, yourself, and stop fighting people for not taking amazing pictures of you when even you don't know how to take an amazing picture of you. I'm joking, but um, yeah, guys, take matters into your own hands and happy snapping. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I'm really excited you actually got to the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed this video and please subscribe if you haven't and i mean if you follow this video and get your brothers sisters aunts and uncles to take bomb ass pictures of you do tag me do share let me know that you guys are actually using the content that i'm putting out here for you but um thank you so so much for watching and until the next video Peace out.